professor. Uh, my name is Norton. I'm just going to start us off today. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to talk about uh, just uh, just uh, just the base interactive functionality of the app, and then I'll, we're passing it on to someone else. So as you can see right here, uh, here this is the main screen of the app. This is what comes up when you open the, when you open the screen for the first time. Uh, so essentially, you, you see welcome to the my manager app. Select like one of those that most relate to you. So basically, how it is is that uh, if you want to if you want to if you want to find uh, an activity that best correlates to how you're feeling right now, you simply all you have to do is just simply click on one of these buttons. So I want to feel more moody, happier, energetic, calmer, etc. And if you and basically after that, all you have to do is click on one of these buttons to take you to your your suggestion page. So for example, if I were to click on calmer. It creates a, it creates a selection of different moods based on the on uh, based on the on the con on you know wanting to be calm. So for example, sport, yoga, outdoor, etc. And uh, it also in, in, on this page, there's some functionality as well. For example, there's a refresh button that gives you new selections if you don't like what you get. And uh, in addition, there is a, there's a category page. So if you didn't get a category you're looking for, you can set it to whichever one you want. See. And and also these are also set so they'll only be for the for the calmer uh, selection. So now if I were to go now if I go back just to show some more functionality, um, assuming let's assume that if, if uh, you know, you wait you, you want to do something but you don't know how you feel like for instance maybe these uh, these are putting you these are boxing you into 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 a description that doesn't really apply to you. Maybe you're happier but maybe you're also moody but also maybe also kind of energetic at the same time. So you can't click on all three of them at the same time. So we, we get we we accounted for that with an I don't know button. So essentially, what this does is this takes you to a questionnaire page. So what the questionnaire is is basically an alternative way to get to, to, to pick your your mood selection. So it'll ask you a series of questions. I'll just fill in right here, and then from your selection, it'll then it'll then it'll then take you to the suggestion page to the proper mood that best that best uh, that best matches the answers that you give. So just you have a more dynamic way to pick. So you go here. So based on my suggestions, you're most, you most afford to happiness, as you can see right here. Uh, yeah. So as I, I, again, like I said, it, so it's it's you here at the same thing too. Um, in, the, in addition to this, uh, just just to go just to just show you again, uh, just from the questions answer, it, we also put like a little disclaimer down here that just that just shows you that it reminds the viewer of the of the disclaimer that we added that just properly explains what the app does. So just to add a little more functionality, just to explain a little more of the functionality. If you go up here to our menu, there's also some also uh, some tags as well. So we have an about activity that just just uh, shows all the group members. Uh, we also have a, a, a login. We'll get to that in a minute. And in addition to that, we also have a, a disclaimer, which I mentioned. This is basically just for just uh, just a lead. Just tells you what for legal reasons. Uh, just for legal reasons, what the app does and doesn't do. For example, it's not supposed to be. Uh, it's not supposed to be a replacement for actually any medical medication or mental health. It's not, and again, it's the, the app is not meant to improve or fix, quote unquote, fix your mood in any capacity. It's meant, it's more just as a fun activity finding that just uses mood as baseline to, fit, to just match you with the most appropriate activity. It's again, it's not supposed to treat depression or any kind of or any kind of mental illness. Do seek mental health for that. So just to, now getting back to the log, to the login page. Uh, so this is our login page and it's and it's, a, and it's uh, respective functionality. So there's many different so there's so on this page as well. You can also you, you also have the option to create a new account. So you just put in right here and then just submit and that takes you there. But we're not going to do that right now. Um, so for so I'm just going to log in to show how that works. So I'm just going to put uh, I'm just going to put that that in right there. Um, and then I'll just put uh, put, put my password. Uh, If that's it. Yes. Okay. Good. So, as you can see, as soon as you log in, logging in is optional. But if you log in, it creates a certain amount of different, uh, different uh, add-ons to uh, uh, different add-ons to uh, the product to give you more additional functionality. So, the login is not required. It just gives the user more fun additional functionality if they so require. So, for example, let's say if I were to click on Palmer. As you can see, it has your, your name is printed right here. In addition to that, it also shows you a greater selection of different moves to start off with. So as you can see, there's much greater selection.
In addition to that, uh, the, the user the user profile was also supposed to uh, create a certain uh, a greater amount of uh, like for instance saving settings, but uh, that functionality will be added in the future. And that so basically the idea would be is that if you create a user profile, you can actually save selected. So for instance, if you don't care about sports or if you don't care about outdoors, you can, you can set it so that only movies ever show up. So you can you can make you can you can cut away a lot of the check. So that's just an example. Um, so beyond that, um, now now the, the, now we, we need to go into just what the individual uh, selections are. So I'll I'll pass it off to the next person. So, Hello, uh, my name is Kevin. Um, so I'll be showing uh, sports and outdoors. So for sport, uh, for example, um, you can see the suggestion here is hiking. So if you click that, <clears throat> it takes you to a map, and you see on the top left. Uh, really on Baker Trail hiking area. So each time it takes you to uh, a different uh, location. And if with a marker, if you click on that, it tells you the name of it. And it shows you the area, it's in Toronto. Um, and you also have uh, uh, buttons on the right side, uh, on the right side at the bottom, like it takes you outside the map. It's okay, don't click it. It takes you outside of, uh, of the app to directions. Um, so this is for the sport. And if you go back, please. Okay, so now we're going to show the outdoors. So it says go ride a bike. And if you click on it, it's gonna open a map. Um, and also you can see it, the name of the park, the, the trail bike trail, it's suggesting it's Sunnyside Bike Park. And it's also here around Toronto. Um, and if you go back and you can refresh, it will give you um, a different, um, yeah, a different uh, location with uh, different uh, activities. And so here it um, gave uh, Grandier Pond in High Park Zoo. No, not high, in High Park, not the zoo. And um, um, it's saved in the database, but it's uh, basically hard coded, but it saves all the locations in the database. And that's it. Thank you. So for the next one, um, I'm just I'm just going to just briefly go over the third one and the thing reading. Uh, so for reading, basically, uh, the idea about it is okay. So you, so again, it's it's matched to the mood selected, and so this one, the book that we got here is How to Love, and also as you can see, you can get new ones based for, by refreshing. So by clicking on it, so first thing you just get you just get a brief just some brief information. So collected books by it published by Favor and Favor has three hundred fifty two pages and was published on this date, and if you click on it further. Uh, you get more information in regards to it, um, but this just just in case you need more of a sell. So this just gets more information. So as you can see here, uh, you have all the information beforehand, uh, but it also gives you uh, just a, just a brief synopsis of the movie itself. And if you need more information, still you can also go to the preview, which will take you to uh, Google Books, which will which will then just give you which you can then read like just a brief synopsis, uh, like a brief reading of the book to get it. So this one, um, for this, uh, especially compared to some other ones, we did quite a bit of information added to it because, uh, well, for example, one of the big things you'll see in a minute is books don't really have like, you know, a commercial or a trailer. So there's not really, we can't really show someone a commercial for a book. They don't really advertise it. So we have to give this, we have to give the, we have to give the reader as much information as they can so they can decide if they want to read it because books are a big commitment in terms of, in terms of like activities. Um, okay, so just moving on. Hello, my name is Marina Savichkin and I will be, will be talking about music and movies. So we have uh, music and movies inserted in our application. If the user clicks on music, it will take him to the page with the video so he can view a video of the music uh, that he already saw on the previous page. Yeah, so this is a small clip. Uh, if we go back, we can also see that we have movies here. If we click there, 
We also can see a small clip so the user can watch it and maybe enjoy this time. Yeah, so that's it for music and movies. Okay, so for games, uh, can you enter games, please? We just did a simple crossword game or word hunt game. I don't know what's really called, but uh, it's basically for each mood, it has a selection of words and then the picture changes depending on the words are. And uh, so can you, uh, can you just click I'm done just to show the validation for now? Yeah. And then can you just write to something wrong? please. Yeah, and click the button. Yeah, so that's the validation we have. Now, uh, can you uh, write serene? Do you remember? Yeah. Serene. Then it says you found serene, you have still have three words left. And soothing. Yeah, uh, thank you. And Pacific. Yeah, so the way that we show the user that the game is done is that we disable the input box and the button so the user cannot do anything with it, with it anymore. It can just go back to the suggestion page and that's it. We just have one game because of, we didn't want to put like uh, games on the internet because that would be, let's say, uh, what's the word? Risky to the user, user's phone, maybe because of a virus and stuff like that. So we decided to create our own game, but because of time, we didn't have time to create another one. So we just created this one and that's it. And I think Evgenia now is gonna show the admin. Uh, hi, uh, this is Evgenia. I will show admin pages. Um, for going to admin pages, we have to put username and password on login page. Um, so I put in my password and login. And go to main menu for admin. So here we can see we can um, uh, watch database for users, for questionnaire, and for categories and suggestions. Um, we see everything what we have in our MySQL database. It's printing here. We can uh, add some more um, admin, for example. So I'm adding new user and it's appearing here. For example, if I will uh, add the same user as we already have in database, uh, for example, like this. Um, we can see that uh, this username is already exists. So if I would like to uh, put something, for example, like here, um the, uh, then um program understands that um uh, we adding not admin we adding user and also we can uh, delete uh, we deleted it from my scale database uh, here we have questionnaire and uh, all the same. Uh, we can add, uh, edit, or delete uh, all stuff what we have here. For example, uh, we have question and we can, uh, for example, edit it somehow. For example, I deleted uh, last question mark where I can do this. And uh, this is our last question it's uh, changed, right? So I will uh, come back with uh, how it was before be because it's a uh, question working in our program. So I will change. It will change it uh, on our uh, questionnaire page. Mm, so it became uh, how it was. Uh, so if I would like to add new question, I have to uh, fill up all these um, fields. For example, if I uh, 
fill only here. Uh, it will let you know that all fields are required. So I have to fill answers and uh, rating for questionnaire. Um, and also we have delete button. Um, I will not uh, delete uh, because it's actual questions what we use for our program. So I will not delete because it will be quite difficult to restore it. But if, for example, we create something what we don't need, we can delete it. it everything is working here. Uh, so for categories, we can uh, manage uh, all categories and uh, all um, suggestions for each move. So for example, for movie, we go here and we see uh, happier movie, energetic and everything. We can go, for example, for happier movie. And uh, we can uh, edit information, for example, like this. And uh, edit back because it's the actual uh, database for our application. So we better don't delete what we have in database. And for example, if we put something new, um, it appears here and uh, we can delete it. So that's all. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you for listening.